Okay, Virgo, September 16th to October 30th, original Virgo. Tourmaline, Virgin, Mercury, Quicksilver, Hematite, Sapphire, Lungs, Thyroid, and Wednesday, again, before they switched it from the 13th to 12th. If you don't agree with me or you have um, some more knowledge that you could share with me about the transition from the 13 zodiacs to the 12, more than I've already researched myself, can you give me some information down below? Maybe let me know. Anyways, back to what we were uh, Virgo. Okay, what can we get for Virgo? <clears throat> Joy, ecstasy, dreams. Maybe you're having a lot of dreams and visions. The Knight of Cups coming in, speaking words of love. Okay, saying this gentleman saying when he needs to. I'm seeing between 35 and 40. Um, this gentleman has brown hair, but I'm seeing blonde hair. And he's reaching to grab something this doesn't feel like a bribe but it feels like it's being handed to somebody that may take it the wrong way okay uh support maybe you're looking for support or you're looking for acknowledgement or what is that like credibility and maybe you're not getting that or maybe you're getting tons of support right now at the beginning we see joy and ecstasy so maybe you're getting an abundance of support uh, we've got the six of clubs. It came out in reverse. So this is surmounting certain things like odds, um, usually an advantage. Maybe other people are seeing you with any sort of like good news coming in or whatever um, credit that you're getting. Maybe other people are not thinking that you deserve it when you do. Um, there's two people in the background. They almost look like twins. They're not really... Uh, for whatever it is that's that's happening here I mean, they may be shaming this person or they may be shaming you Virgo uh, and then we have the knight of clubs so this is another person side by side um, constraint this could be somebody that you take orders from or somebody that you get messages from mm, somebody that's usually pretty good at fighting battles even for other people got the shoes with purple on it uh this person knows when you yourself may be a little naive or maybe they're giving you like i said some information self-defense if you feel like you need to defend yourself against these other two people uh we've got the two of clubs in reverse and we got the king of clubs and then we got the star that came right out after the first two came out and then the star came out so yeah you could be standing in your your element your energy and i want to say element so maybe there's something to do with fire or water here or some specific element you work with uh, <clears throat> yeah virgin virgin keep your sacral energy close don't be wasting it Don't go out and do something just because you think that you're going to get the uh, praise from other people, especially in a workplace or something like that. If you are feeling like you need to go out and do something just to prove something, because you've got the version, right? That's what, what, what's popping out to me, especially when I'm looking at the star here. And she's almost got just like her, her, <clears throat> yeah, her light clothes on or whatever. This doesn't have to be something sexual, but definitely if it comes to, I'm just gonna heed some advice here, Virgo. Don't go out and just hand that out to random people. Don't just go out and use your sacral energy. And it feels like uh, I'm speaking to somebody specifically. Don't go out and just use your energy or waste it on somebody that may not be deserving, okay? Because that energy is powerful. And even as, uh, let's say you get to a specific kind of climax or something like that, you can use that en energy to manifest. So think about whatever it is that you need um, with good intention behind it instead of trying to use it for bad because a lot of people will do certain um, rituals and stuff like that when it has to do with the sacral chakra because that's your sexuality and it's also your creativity, okay? That's orange. Maybe wear more orange if it helps you. I personally think that each color has its own frequency. Now, I don't know if that's proven or not. You can look into it if you're interested, but that just popped into my head. Each color has like a vibrational frequency, in, in my opinion. Or you know those people that have, um, what's the word, when they hear certain notes musically and then they see color for each of the notes? Uh, 
there's a word for that. Synesthesia or something like that, maybe? Um, anyways, you've got the Two of Clubs and you had the King of Clubs here. Again, somebody fairly decent looking, usually somebody that is um, well versed or very good at communicating. Like it ha he or she has charm and grace and, and a sort of mystery to them. And not necessarily do they rule with the sexual energy, but like a lot of Scorpios have that energy. So maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo. Um, or you have Scorpio somewhere, like you're a cusp, possibly. Just give me a second here. Uh, protect yourself from enemies. So if you do cleansing or anything like that, um, definitely salt bath or even just crystals. If you know how to cleanse your crystals and your rocks as well, they each hold the vibrational frequency and they're kind of like amplifiers. So if you can cleanse them, that will help you as well. Um, where was I here? Yeah. So the two of clubs here, right? You got sadness and trouble, restraint caused by others, loss of faith and surprise. So you could be being surprised by somebody or get a certain responsibility placed on you. Come on. Excuse me. Maybe it feels like um, you're constantly being piled on certain responsibilities or chores or a list of things to do. This could be at work or just at home. <coughs> Excuse me, but you're determined. Okay. This looks like it goes hand in hand, almost like a descriptive card for this energy here. <coughs> But uh, just because somebody's cocky and, you know, they seem like everything is well put together and stuff doesn't mean there's stuff not going on behind the scenes. So maybe you've been dealing with some sort of sadness or depression or something like that and to balance it all out or to reach some level of a higher vibrational frequency, maybe you're using your sacral chakra. And it doesn't necessarily mean going around sleeping people, but it could mean that... Um, you're doing some more creative things, which isn't a bad thing. There could be some frustration and anger with that. Well, what else do we have here? What's for the two of clubs in reverse? Why is that up there? Love affair, maybe? And five of cups in reverse. So you're not really uh, too disappointed in whatever it is, but it doesn't mean you're not feeling the emotion from it. <clears throat> this could be people giving you, you know, crap for standing in your element, in your light, and people kind of giving, it almost seems like, um, instead of him knocking over the cups there, it almost seems like other people came and knocked those cups over, but you're not upset about it. You're like, okay, well, I guess I'll uh, start from square one, or I'll just figure something out. But, I don't know. Needing the approval of others may be what is slowing you down in advancement. Okay? It may very well be causing you some... Just use your, use your common sense, use your awareness, use your discernment when it comes to other people, okay? They will say... Uh, they will say... I want to say that. They will say certain things that just to hurt you okay any negative energy clear return to sender immediately to be transmuted into positivity through understanding for their own healing journeys uh we got the hangman in reverse so whatever it is that's holding you back you know better but you're still deciding like you're kind of stubborn about it you're still deciding to say you know what um i know maybe i should do this or not do this but i'm still going anyways because that's just the way things are and letting other people kind of bring you down or just bringing yourself down with your thoughts and stuff like that so you've got the star energy okay be creative do whatever it is that makes you happy and don't let other people slow you down or get in the way like these two back here when i say the twins or it could just be a gemini you're dealing with the two twins back here that's just, yeah, whatever that is, that's a message for somebody because it has, I keep getting twins, 
keeps popping out. Okay. Have courage. Believe in yourself. If nobody's told you lately, you're doing a good job, okay? Keep moving forward. Don't let other people discourage you just because they're hating on you for standing in your own light or they're bashing you or trying to discredit you or sabotage or what's the other thing people do? Um, the smear campaign and the bullshit gossip and saying shit behind your back or the two-faced doesn't matter. The, that's on them, okay? Keep that in mind. Whatever other people do, that's on them. Whatever you do, you're responsible for. So how you act, how you think, how you respond to certain things. Just know that these other people that are saying or doing cruel things, they are not healed, okay? They haven't gotten to the point where you've gotten to that you have full understanding that that's not acceptable. You don't want to treat other people like that because you've been treated like that. And you're taking that lesson and instead of inflicting it and hurting other people, you've decided that you are going to be a better version of yourself and be a good influence about the people around you and stuff like that. And keep your vibration high because you know better. You love yourself enough in order to do so. And you know your value and worth and what you bring to the table. Okay? your potentiality what else do we got actually let's go over here to past life oracle where are we virgo past life oracle for virgo please augmentation yeah maybe somebody's messing with your job or whatever it is that you're trying to portray out there and they're flipping it around in some way making it seem like, oh, you're the crazy one or you're the one that's not together or something like that. Breathe. Let it go. Understand that this other person's responsible for their actions. You don't have to agree with them or let that get under your skin or bother you because you've healed from that trigger. And what other people are doing is not your concern. You're just focused about yourself. You're worried about yourself. Trying to do the best that you can for yourself, okay? Uh, past life oracle. We've got Greco-Roman. So you could be of Greco-Roman descent or just Greek, just Greek in general. Um, family history. You know those crowns they used to put on people? Was that Greece? Yeah, I think so. They used to be like a, almost like a halo or a crown or whatever. And it was made out of leaves. Or I don't know what kind of leaves they were, but it was made out of leaves. For some reason, that's popping up. So maybe look into the history behind that. Do your research. Find out what that means. That could be a message for you symbolically. And then any history that you want to ask. If people are still around you, you have some family, maybe some elders or something, you can talk to them about that. Or this could have to do with the Roman Catholic Church, but not necessarily. I'm getting more like the Greek mythology and that. That you can get your answers from ask if you talk to your ancestors and stuff like that ask for messages as well whatever answers that you need should come through okay use your high vibrational frequency your inner love and don't cry over nobody's bullshit and then we've got love life so if you are not with anybody right now this is a part of your path this could be something that is going to be coming up and it's going to be a test for you and it is just to learn the lesson. It doesn't mean you have to like show up in this person's life or this person show up in your life and then learn whatever and then they're gone. You, the more you learn, you could change the way the direction is going to go because you break cycles as you go. So um, if you're experiencing it right now, love life, I'm seeing good positive energy for this. And you may have already learned since you're in your element right now. You may have already learned whatever lessons you needed to. So now you get to experience something different. It's different. It's like a higher level of thinking. Like you opened and expand a part of your consciousness. So now you get to experience something different and learn new lessons. And then it's still part of your ancestry and your DNA and stuff like that that's passed down to you. Whatever they didn't learn, you learn. So guess what? You get to advance. You get to elevate. And you get to move forward into the next phase. Um, okay, can we get a love oracle card for Virgo, please? Virgin. You may travel. Dragonfly. This has a feeling like it's a past love one as well. 
So if you have any altars or something like that and you want to express your appreciation and your gratitude to your past loved ones, most recent generation be the second there, the one just before you or the one before it. That's what I'm talking about. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So you're already on your healing process. You're doing well. There's going to be people that are going to test you around you and try to bring you down. So uh, keep that in mind. And go around, please. Okay, we've got Sawilo, sun, solace, success, health, strength, energy, compassion, wholeness, victory, good fortune. That's S, yellow, and green. And I'm not going to be able to read the last ones out. We got Feyu and Anzus. And one more. and algaes okay so look those ones up because my time is flashing and i don't want to make two part videos because i know some people don't like those videos and i'm 